claims that he can get a compliment anytime he wants to, and he says that his grandma is always trying to fix him up. Please welcome Brad Grunberg. Yeah. Your, uh, your grandma try to fix you up? Well, I just want to thank you for that uh, fresh fruit basket in my uh, dressing room. Oh, it's you know, okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, my grandma, uh, it's a common practice. She uh, goes to the hairdresser every Saturday, and uh, she uh, takes her pen and pencil, she said, and she talks to all the other grandmas about their granddaughters for me. Really? Yeah, that's a nice Does grandma. it usually work out? Well, Nanny brings back all the uh, numbers, and I pick the names I want. I call them up, Chuck, but uh, they remind me of uh, last month's cattle for some reason. Uh, last month's what? Cattle, Chuck? They're big girls. Not my style, baby. Not my style. <laughs> well, you're not exactly a slight little guy. I mean, come on. <laughs> How else do you meet women? Well, um, I do it many uh, ways, but uh, the Friday night at the temple seems to be pretty good. Friday night at the temple? Yeah, there's a dance there, and I probably I usually go up there, and we have a good time dancing, but the girl's a little too conservative for a guy like me, you know? I'm a Mr. Vegas wild type. I'm a yeah. wild animal guy, you know? Yeah. And uh, that's my style, so... Uh, uh, that's pretty good, but, uh, you know, they want me, they want to take me home, but no. Well, tell me this surefire way of getting compliments. Now, you said that you can get a compliment anytime you want to. That's what you uh, said. What's well, I'm a B-type guy, and I'm also a virgin. A B? What's a B? Uh, a B-type. We'll get to the virgin later. What, what's a B? <laughs> There's two types of guys. There's the A and B. You're an A, I'm a B. Okay? That's a compliment. Take your word for it. Okay. And, uh, I'm a B, so uh, I'm a virgin, so I decide that this is the way I'm gonna get girls. I'll show you, Chuck. Okay. Hi, uh... I'm ugly, but I'm a nice guy. No, I'm really ugly. No, 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 you're not, Brad. You're, you're, you're a good-looking guy. You're cute. You're, you're, you're fun to be with. No, I'm ugly. I'm ugly. I'm horrible. So and you do all of this stuff, and then yeah. they come on and say, nah, come on, Brad. You, you have anybody say, yes, you're right, Brad, and leave? Uh, <laughs> I mean, have you, has that ever happened to you? Chuck, many times. Many times. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be honest here, yeah. But, uh, no, it's a great, it's, it's a, it's a great way. And I meet a lot of girls that way. And basically, when I get to that point, I can do basically anything with them. Anything. Anything. Most anything. Yeah, which is probably why you're still a... Virgin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at the tapes of Brad Sodden. Remember, you're going to vote again, okay? Here we go. <laughs> First, there's Donna. She's originally from Queens, New York, enjoys photography and working with stained glass. Now, she says that she often gets compliments on her eyes. Here is Donna's requirements for men. You should not have a good, decent job in, you know, in education. And, uh, you know, just... Just be wise with, you know, what he does with his money. Spend it on me. <laughs> Next is Vicky. Her hobbies include playing basketball, baseball, football. She also likes to swim, cook, work out, and go horseback riding. Sounds like your kind of girl. She uh, says her worst habit is chewing gum. We'll be in a movie, and I'll pop a piece of gum in my mouth just because, you know, I'm hungry or, you know, just because I don't want to ask for popcorn or something. And I'll find myself saying, nom, nom, you know, and I just feel so stupid. And then I realize, I go, oh, my God, nice impression that you're making. <laughs> Finally, you watch Gail. Uh, she was raised in Kansas, and she says that uh, she spends most of her time taking care of her horse. Now, when she wants to impress a man, she'll bake him cookies. She hasn't had much luck with her dates recently, and here's uh, one example. He started getting really hostile, and he's all, well, you come here, and you do this, and you, you know, and I'm all, no, I don't. I do what I want to do, you know, just go with the flow. And, um, it's sad to say, I punched him. <laughs> <laughs> What an interesting combination. Let's take a look at all three of them again. First, there's Donna. She's 25. She's a stockbroker's assistant. Now, Vicky's an education student. She's 23. That's an education student. Finally, Gail. She's 24. Gail's a word processor who has a sideline of boxing, evidently. Okay. Now, Brad put one of those ladies as his date. Who would you fix him up with now that you know Brad so well? All right. The audience has made his choice, and Brad's going to tell us who he picked. Who'd you pick, Brad? Well, I picked... Victoria, Vicky. Victoria. All right, there she is. Well, we're going to just continue all this fun tomorrow because we're out of time. So we're going to find out everything that happened on Brad's day tomorrow. That's our show for today. We'll be back tomorrow with Brad. I know. More singles. We're going to try to make a love connection right here. And I'm Chuck Woolery, hoping all your dates are good ones tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. All right. Yesterday, he told us which of these three women he chose as his date. Today, you'll hear what happened on that date. Doesn't a woman deserve to...
to start out in a 50-50 relationship? Not in my ballpark. Uh, it starts out 75-25, and if they uh, earn... 75, your favorite, 25 hertz. Of course, always in my favor. And uh, they have to earn the other 25. How do they do that? Well, they have to earn points by understanding the kind of guy I am, and I give them a few brownie points and a few percentage points, but if they don't, I get rid of them. Now, if they understand that, they do a couple other things special on the side, I give them the 25, we got 50-50. <laughs> Oh, Brad. I don't know, Brad. Let's bring, her, let's bring everybody up to date on what happened yesterday. Now, we showed the audience Brad's three choices, and they voted on which one they thought would be best for him. We're going to take a look at all three of them again today and catch you up. First, there's Donna. She enjoys photography and working with stained glass. That was Donna. Vicki, her hobbies include playing uh, baseball, basketball, and football. And Gail, when she wants to impress a man, she'll bake him cookies. Now, the audience vote was recorded yesterday, and we'll get to that a little bit later on, but right now, Brad's going to tell us who he chose. Vicky. He chose Vicky. There, there she is. Vicky backstage. Let's say hello to Vicky Lambert. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Pat. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Brad. How are you? Pretty good. You look good. Thank you. You're welcome. Just, uh, just make yourself at home back okay. there, okay? All right. All right, Brad. Your moment. Well, it all started about 5.30 uh, p.m. That's how I started. Start them early. Start them uh, early, yeah. Get to her house. Her mom answers the door. And we're talking about one sweet woman, a nice lady. We sat down and talked. We talked about what she cooked for her husband, where they're going to go this weekend. Just a lovely lady. And her husband hadn't gotten home. I would have talked to him, too. Uh, after that, uh, she came, uh, Vicky came out. She was looking very nice. Yeah, what, what did you think of Brad when you saw him, Vicky? Well, he was dressed all right. He was dressed nicely. He wasn't gorgeous, but he wasn't, you know, he was dressed nicely. He's beginning to hyperventilate, I think. <laughs> well. I, like I said, I am an ugly guy. But I didn't say that, Brad. Well, her body wasn't looking too good either. Uh, Brad, Brad, uh, yours wasn't looking the best either. What? I said, on the, he told me over the phone that he was about 180. I don't think so, Brad. Maybe you're pushing 180. OK, I was 189. And you're sure 150. <laughs> Well, what happened next, Brad? Well, as we got, uh, gave her the roses. Now, I'm an ugly, but I'm a nice guy. I gave her the roses. Brought some Isn't that roses nice? With you. Did things pick up here a little bit, uh, Vicky? Um, no, not really. Uh, his three favorite phrases of the night. First of all, he called me babe all night, which I don't know. It's just I need to know someone a little longer before they call me babe, which I kind of found a little bit offensive. And, and second of all, the thing he kept doing was he said, um, the night's still in diapers. I haven't heard that phrase for a long time. In fact, at first, I didn't even know what it meant, and I had to think about it. The night's still in diapers, meaning the night's young. And third I think of all, I got it, yeah. And, th and third of all, all he kept saying was, out of control, we're going to have an out of control time. The night's still in diapers, babe. We're going to have an out of control time. <laughs> Oh, Chuck, I tried. Um, I you know, after we had and was it out of control? Uh, for, it for me, it was. It yeah. was for sure out of control. After that, we went to uh, the bus station. Went to the yeah. bus station? Yeah, downtown. What did you do at the bus station? Um, we went through the doors, the second vending machine on the left-hand side, and had ice cream sandwiches. It was a lot of fun. He told me that... Oh, <laughs> what happened next? Uh, next, we, uh, we went off to... Uh, the, the good stuff. The good stuff. Good stuff a temple yeah. on Wilshire Boulevard. A down. temple on Wilshire Boulevard. We, what are you uh, going there? Yeah, we went in and started dancing and drinking and having a good time, you know. In the dancing. temple? Yeah, it was a party. It was a wedding party. But a lady came up to me about a half hour later and says, do you know anybody here? I go, isn't this Ron Applebaum's bar mitzvah party? No, this is the Weiss wedding. We crashed a wedding party. Uh, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, yes. Chuck, may I say something? What? See, he must have been with another girl because that never happened. We never crashed oh, a wedding. He I must have been another did, day. Vicky. No, I'm I, sorry, Brad. They just couldn't mix her drinks there. I, that's no, why she did uh, that. Was, you must have been with another girl or something, because we never went to a wedding. Wait a minute. I mean, this is temple. like, this is a huge discrepancy here. I mean, this is a major thing. You're doing the, uh, uh, really? Yes, <laughs> I, I'm not lying. You didn't go? No, we you never made this went. Up? We passed by, and he said it would, you know, he said uh, it would have been nice if we went. Whatever you say, Vicky, we believe you. <laughs> She's lying through her teeth, Chuck. End of story. Next place. Want to know? <laughs> I'm not lying. Okay, uh, we're off to, I don't uh, know why. We're okay. off to a couple, you know, some singing, relax, uh, have a few cocktails, and we're sitting around. Good music, we left. Time to go to dinner. Where? Uh, hotel on uh, Wilshire. Beverly oh. Hillcrest. Okay, so... Treat my women right. Uh, when we after... Uh, if may may intervene again, there was no music. Here we go again! <laughs> the girl just doesn't want to follow the plan of the evening. Uh, okay, whatever I... she said. Listen, no, we'll listen. I... 
That might have been his plan that there was going to be music, but unfortunately, they were not playing at the time that we were there. How did, how did this date end? Well, this in your mind. Well, we went for a couple of... <laughs> Time I gave her a kiss on the, on the cheek, and she kissed the air over here. I was kissing over here. I it. What I the hell? I'm a nice guy. If you're gonna give me a peck oh, on the cheek, so I can tell my friends I got a kiss. Brad, but she went on. She got a kiss Brad, the air. And we then went. This and that. I'm a nice guy. Brad, Brad, a kiss. Brad. I spent a hundred bucks on it. Uh, I just had to go on with this all night, but I think you should bring her out so I can give her a big hug. Well, let's take a look and see who the audience speak for you first, okay? Please, please, please. Who they picked you? Vicky. No. 47% <laughs> picked Vicky. Oh! No. No. Is it uh, safe to assume that you probably uh, would uh, like to go out with Vicky again if we pay for it? Chuck, I ra oh. Chuck, I'd rather stay a virgin for the rest of my life. Yeah. Sorry oh. things didn't work out for yeah. you, Vicky, as far as the love connection. Bye, Vicky. A nice gift for Bye, you, though. Brad. Good luck on finals. Thank you, Chuck. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, nice gift for you. Thanks for coming on the show. Chuck, thank you. And, it was nice uh, Thanks a lot. Yeah, good luck to you. Thank you. We're going to be back with another couple in just a oh, minute. Stay with us. <laughs>